Hello. Good morning, hello. I don't know what day it is you're watching this video. This is the incredibly enthusiastic start to the North Coast 500 series. Today's the day. As you can see, it is raining, setting the tone for Scotland. This is one of many fuel stops. As unenthusiastic as I sound, I am absolutely buzzing about this trip. And here comes my lovely girlfriend. Hello. Hello. I'm also going to try and keep the receipts from all the fuel I take so I can see how much we spent. Anywho, I am going to do some tyre pressures. Are you going or coming? Going. Where are you going? Scotland. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a fair old a... Yeah. But it is, it's always worth going to Scotland. Definitely, yeah, yeah. And uh, I, hope, um, I hope it works as much for you as it did for me. <laughs> Thank you, dude. So this is the bike, pre packed up as you can see, I've got tools, that's my girlfriend's bike, with my girlfriend on it, also packed up as you can see, bags, stuff. Okay, so for this trip I've decided to run full knobblies, yeah, brand new AX41 on the rear here, I got a knackered front on the go. <laughs> Where's the valve? Fucking hell. Eh. I'm getting like choked out by my jacket as well, this is not good. Ugh, that's better. Oh, I hate car pumps. Oh, there we go. Say hello. <laughs> so it is currently quarter past nine in the morning. It is going to take us, if we don't stop according to my sat nav, until six o'clock to get to where we're going to. So that is a good. What's that for? I don't even know how many hours of riding, too many. Nine hours of riding, Jesus, if we don't stop. So I've got a sat nav here. It's cable tied to my bike. Um, <laughs> it kind of fits very well with the, uh, the rest of the aesthetic of my bike, which is kind of just cobbled together and make do with what we have. I'm excited. I've been waiting for this trip for at least a year, if not more. And I'm very lucky to have you along with me too. Huh? Yeah, stop at half eleven, yeah. So yeah, I'm very lucky to have my lovely girlfriend along with me too. I took the peak off my helmet. I don't know if you can see, but I'm trying... I look like a fucking bug. <laughs> Although, it is 100% more quiet. I can actually hear myself think in this helmet. So I've had a really busy couple of weeks too. Um, I'm just going to pop in a couple of clips of what I was doing over the last couple of weeks. Hello, it's editing me. Just to let you know, these are going to have some flashing images and it's going to be louder than normal and uh, the image and audio quality is going to be bad. But you've been warned, so now you can't sue me! <laughs> have been extremely busy this last couple of weeks. I got to play the main stage at Rock City to about a thousand people and it was absolutely incredible. I've never experienced anything like that in my life. Just, <laughs> just I, can't, I can't put it into words. It was incredible. It was one of the higher, higher things on my bucket list to do and it's been ticked off and I honestly can't believe it. Straight into the Scotland trip. <laughs> this week has just been absolutely insane. Not even the week, the last like couple of weeks, it's just been constant. I've had two new jobs since my last video, pretty much. I literally got a new job on Friday. Uh, and then went straight out to play some more shows. I played on a boat. I got, uh, I don't think I got any footage, but I got, I'll put in a nice picture of the boat if I can. I played in Thecla in uh, Bristol. That was good fun. And then, literally, that was last night. So I got home at about half past 11, went straight to bed. 
and here I am on the bike, nine hour trip to Scotland. <laughs> anyway, for the sake of my own editing brain and uh, everyone else's entertainment, I'm going to shut up now and I will probably give you an update when we get to Scotland because there is literally nothing interesting in between, it is just motorway. So I am going to skip this part, nobody wants to see the motorway trip, so I'll see you up there. All right, it's voice over me again. So I forgot to mention where we set off from. Uh, we set off from Loughborough, which is just outside Leicester there on the map. Uh, looking at this little animation I've managed to make. That is a route that we took. Stopped for fuel twice on the way. It took us a total of six hours to get up this section of the road. Uh, two fuel stops, 346 miles. And this is all motorway, nothing interesting to look at. Uh, we didn't even get into Scotland until about an hour before we even reached where we stopped. So it's really, really boring. All right. I made it to Scotland. My bum hurts. So we made it to Perth before I got bored and got the camera out. It is now half past five in the afternoon. We left at nine. No, we left the house at half past eight, eight o'clock-ish. And we have been riding literally all day. Anyway, hello. I can actually speak to you now. It's, look at this. We left England and it was pissing it down with rain. Like the first probably half an hour of the motorway it was just raining. And we were all just, we were both miserable. It was like, oh, the weather, it sucks. Got to Scotland, fucking blue skies, mate. Yes, it's been a lot of motorway, dual carriageway, and just really boring riding around. So I didn't film any of it for obvious reasons. Um, there's still quite a bit to go. I mean, I say we're in Scotland, we're literally Perth, so we're outside Dundee, just about. We've still got another two hours and 40 minutes to go to where we actually get to where we're staying tonight. So <laughs> it's a long, long day. We had uh, one, one incident and that was the strap on that bag came loose. So we had to stop at the side of the motorway and uh, re-strap. So that was it. That's all that's happened. It's just been riding. We've been through, we're on our third tank of fuel now. Um, I'm keeping all the receipts for all the fuel I'm spending so I can tot it all up at the end and show you how much money we spent on fuel. <laughs> but so far I'm at 60 quid and I'm not even at the first place we're staying tonight. So the cable tied sat nav is doing bits. It is so good. It's <laughs> I bought this sat nav for £35 off Facebook and absolutely brilliant. <laughs> A couple of cable ties and a bit of uh, a bit of cable management. I don't need to use my phone now, so that's basically obsolete. Yeah, the bikes are going great. Um, obviously, I'm on I'm on Nobleys. I'm on AX41s. Um, probably shouldn't be. It gets a bit wobbly on the motorway. It's sitting at 70 motorway speeds. If it gets a bit of a side wind or anything, because all the weights at the back, because I've got all my luggage on the back, it gets a bit kind of wobbly, a bit sketchy. Also, the speedo on this bike overreads like buggery, it's ridiculous. So, what are we on? We're doing 45, 46 mile an hour according to the sat nav. It's 54. <laughs> no wonder everyone says I'm slow as fuck. Oh, it's starting to get pretty now. You probably won't be able to see anything, but it does look fantastic. I'm really in the mood for travelling today. I'm really up for this. I've been going all day. This is the bit I was excited about, is riding through the Cairngorms. But it's beautiful. Look at it. Ah! Oh. I even got the camera to 60 frames a second to make it look ever so slightly nicer. And got a second memory card so I can film loads. Aren't you happy? Aren't you lucky? Lucky people. That bag keeps slipping down as well, I've had to just move it over, it's really annoying me. By the way, this road I'm on, the, the next turn off is in about 60 miles. We've, well, it was 70 when we turned on, but we've done about 20 miles. And, oh, I've just been in pure silence. 
just, just looking around at everything going on. Incredible, absolutely amazing. We're not even in like the good part, this is just like the, to get to the good part. Amazing, I can't bloody wait. Oh, hello, hello Mr. Prius. Oh man, <laughs> look at this. This is fantastic. Town, Aviemore. Oh, it smells like garlic bread. That's delicious. This is quite a nice little, like, uh, outdoorsy person town. There's a little railway line, uh, but more importantly, there is fuel and 20 mile an hour zones apparently. It's not really very important. Oh my god, it's 160 through at 69. Oh, I thought it's 63 then. Paid two pound a litre for fuel earlier. I had the camera in my bag, otherwise I would have filmed it. What an absolute rip off. All right, so a recap on the map. We left Perth and headed for Aviemore through the Cairngorms on this very nice road. 70 miles of really, really nice views. And we stopped here to get some fuel and then carried on to my girlfriend's family's house in Lossiemouth, just here on the map now. We stayed here once we got there for a couple of days just to rest and get over all the motorway. Uh, and left a couple of days later in torrential rain, uh, headed to Inverness. My GoPro also decided to have a bit of a play up here, and the mounts would no longer connect to my helmet because they snapped. Uh, so here we got to Handycam here. Um, the audio is terrible from this, so I'm going to do a voiceover anyway. You can see from the rain, uh, this is we've only been going an hour. Everything we had was already soaked. Uh, this is a service station just outside Inverness. We're hiding inside a costa to try and wait for the worst of the rain to pass over. Look how terrible that is. We were just riding in that. Um, really nice sunshine until the day we left and just kind of not ruined the experience, but it really put a dampener on it. Um, we were both just waiting here for hours for this rain to pass as well. Uh, I was already in a mood because my GoPro wouldn't connect my helmet um, and this really wasn't helping. So not a great start to our trip so far. But yeah, we're hiding just in here. Alright, so after sulking and getting rained on for all morning, we waited out the rain. Um, we looked everywhere to try and find something to replace the mount on my GoPro with, but uh, GoPro decided to go entirely online, so that didn't happen, and I was in a really bad mood, and it was about 5 o'clock at this point. So we set off, um, we moved on towards Dingwall up the east coast here. Um, this is an easy journey of about 3 hours, 120 miles, although it was already 5 o'clock, and we hadn't eaten, and it was now getting dark. So these next couple of clips explain what it was like uh, moving up here in the dark. This is a disaster. <laughs> it's not a disaster. My GoPro mount is broken, uh, so I can't film. And you can see how foggy it is at the minute. You literally, this is this is good. Like you couldn't see that sign a moment ago. It was terrifying. Like that bollard there, you couldn't see that. It is just absolutely terrifying riding in this. The bikes are doing okay, we're okay. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a mess. Anyway, I had a bit of a, a bit of a meltdown earlier because my GoPro mount broke. So I literally can't clip my helmet on my, onto my camera or vice versa. So and, until I can get a new GoPro mount, I literally can't film and I was livid, fucking livid. We got absolutely soaked in the rain. Um, I'm still soaking wet. We're now riding through literal clouds. It's gonna get dark in about an hour and we've at least an hour away from where we're going. And we need to stop and set up and eat. So it's, it's gonna be a long, stressful hour. We're gonna carry on. Can you see it? Can you see the, uh, can you see the cloud there? It's just doing some wicked sick donuts. Yeah, we're gonna go battle this, uh, battle this some more. I'm really annoyed I can't film it and ride. I really am. But you win some, you lose some, don't you? Um, it's only day one, technically. 
day two i'm going to go on the scrounge around the campsite tomorrow and try and see if anyone has any gopro attachments but um anyway this is us we're doing okay <laughs> i really don't want to have to keep doing updates like this but i've not really got much choice fig roll man yes who is that <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>